So, a lot this week we've talked about young stars, British talent, and we're lucky enough to have with us now one of Britain's brightest stars of the future, TJ Baldwin. TJ, you've been here all week training with these kids and helping them out, teaching them your skills that you've learned over the years. How's your week been? Yeah, it's been really good. Uh, it's my first first shot of coaching, so it was a bit a bit strange, really, because um, it's normally me getting all the feedback. But I've really enjoyed it. It's really nice to give something back to the kids. Um, yeah, and watch them progress. Fantastic. Now, I, I assume you've probably done a lot of these camps in your time. Is that right? Yeah, I've done a lot of the camps in my time. Um, mainly on dry slope, never inside. I never really had the possibility to do them inside, you know, so this is great. It gives them a bit more of an insight on to how it will really be on the real thing. So, yeah, it's good. Perfect. So if we look at a grassroots level, like the dry slope camps and the new sort of snow zone camps that have come about over the last years, how do you rate them for, for younger athletes getting into racing? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a good insight, especially a camp like this. Uh, we've got two girls who have never, ever skied in poles until, uh, in gates until, until this week. So they've got a good insight to how it is, really. Um, and, you know, it's good to have um, Eddie and, and Finn along to give their expertise, you know. They've both been to the Olympics, the Shemi as well, you know. Um, let the kids ask them some questions, give them a real insight to the, to the sport, yeah. So you mentioned Ed there. Now, you're obviously a full-time member of the British senior team and you, you ski with Ed all the time. Everything, you know, you guys have some good training and there's a really good team atmosphere there, I, I presume. Yeah, it's a really good team atmosphere. A lot of banter goes on between us. Um, I spend all the summer with Eddie training with him and then in the winter he goes off to the World Cups and I, and I stay and do the Europa Cups. But hopefully I'll get a few shots at going along to the World Cups with him this year. Fantastic. So as you say, a few starts at World Cup hopefully, but then Europa Cup is going to be your main focus for this season. Is that right? Yeah, definitely. Um, Europa Cup and, and North American Cups are my main focus this year. Um, and if that goes well, maybe hopefully I might be able to get a... Uh, a star sport in the World Cup or, or do the training runs for some of the downhills and see how fast I am. Fantastic. Now, you've been on Atomic since you were well, knee-high to a grasshopper, if I remember rightly. Yeah. Um, how are you getting on with the products now? Obviously, we've moved to a new double-deck ski, which um, we're now using for the speed disciplines. How, how do you find the technology is working for you? It's fantastic, especially on the speed skis. Um, you know, for, for young guys like myself, coming up from the, from the bottom, really, when you, when you start your Open Cup, you get a lot of bumps and the course isn't in great condition and the double decks, with the double decks, they work, uh, work wonders. They're an unbelievable ski to work with. Fantastic, that sounds great. TJ, thanks ever so much for your time. I'm going to let you get back to the guys downstairs and uh, let's see, what, uh, see if you can show them a thing or two through this course they've set up for you. Cheers, Russ. Cheers. Thank you.